Well, good afternoon, friends. It's Curtis Robinson, and I am operating the deadliest of all assassins, Black Blade. Now, Black Blade is uh, a bandit class assassin build. Notice he's got in his right hand, he's wielding the black knife, and in the left hand, he's got Reduvia Dagger. I think these are probably the best daggers in the game, but again, it's all, always up to the individual to decide that. Uh, I also have some other options in the event of a little bit of healing or some other spells. I can do some incantations, and I've got a cool bow for ranged. That being said, we are here at the capital outskirts, or capital rampart, I should say, of Landell. We're going to zoom through this uh, area. I'll tell you that this is a tough, uh, this is a tough area, but not impossible. Uh, with a little bit of strategy and tactics, we should be able to handle ourselves pretty well. There are very tough knights here. Uh, there are crucible knights here. There are some other weird things like an ulcerated uh, tree creature and that is just really a pain in the butt. The bottom line is we're going to have a little bit of fun and hopefully we're going to do so without any deaths. Uh, of course if we get killed the big thing is let's learn from the mistake, let's not rage quit and have a cow about it. Uh, let's move on and get back to the game. So the thing that I want to remind folks is that this is a tough game. It's a Souls game. It's supposed to be tough. Take your time. Observe. Watch out for, you know, traps and monsters that jump on your head. So here we go. I'll tell you that one of the best things about this game is this ability to lock on. If you lock on and you see something, it is more than likely an enemy. Kind of keep that in mind. These guys obviously are kind of sleeping, kind of chilling, I guess. Alrighty. Take a quick peek around to the edge here. Let's just go ahead and treat this guy to a nice stab in the back. And keep him right off the edge. <laughs> that is awesome. I don't care who you are, that is stinking crazy fun. <laughs> Alright little grace action here. Now I'm going to tell you these perfumers uh, and there's some other <coughs> some other um, Nox uh, fighters and sorcerers in here. Not easy. Some of these guys are pain in the butt so kind of just be aware of that. Ah, we made it inside. Not bad. I think this door is going to be locked. We're going to have to get through there a different way. All right, all these little trumpet-looking statues are, guess what, totally killable. So we should probably do that. Let's run up, give them a smack, smack, smack. All right. They do a little uh, bubble or something weird. Google is trying to talk to me, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to see if I can... You can use archery, but I should be able to just handle these guys easily. Because I am a pretty OP assassin at this point. Alright, and he's gonna bubble me. Nice. A little bit of damage, not the end of the world. Ooh, that is really moving, isn't it? We're gonna have to go get this guy. off his high horse. Oop. Let's get a little back. the dancing action. So guys, I like to hold down the sprint button while I'm using my daggers and really move forward. Alright. I'm just going to try to get this guy in melee combat. That was the, I don't know, the granddaddy of them all, I guess. A bigger dude. Okay. That guy down there is going to be really good at throwing just a number of globs of garbage at us that we don't want to get hit by. So let's go to our equipment. Let's do a little bit of archery here. 
All right, let's pluck this guy. I'm using the horn bow, which I have upgraded pretty well. It works pretty good, but this fire is going to come all the way up. Can I show you guys? Pretty far, so we should just stay at range. You can obviously time him and run in there, but he doesn't move. Pretty easy to kill. <laughs> so guys, I love this dungeon crawling experience. Uh, I am an immersive player and a casual gamer, so there are pros out there that, I mean, they make their money doing this. It's their thing. Uh, I'm pretty new, so I make mistakes, but I have a good time doing it. And ultimately, I try to learn. There is a guy in here. There he is. I'd really like to backstab him. He's a pain in the butt. Let's keep it quiet. See if I can nail him. Down. All right, let's get up on him and finish him off. So he's got a pretty good um, crossbow. I love this indoor uh, terrarium kind of thing they got going on here. All right, we're going to go down there in a minute. I kind of want to just smoke these guys real quick. Oop, he's trying to bubble me. I'm not locked on, and he's running away. Got him. Not bad. There's one more up here. I mean, why should we leave anybody alive, right? Let's lock on, sprint forward, pop, 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 and take him down. All right. Whoops, there's another page. He's pretty good with his uh, weapons there. Pretty serious. I'm going to hit him long range here. If he decides to come out, if not, I will sneak in and I will get him the old fashioned way. If I can take the angle so I can see. Oh, there he is. Alrighty, so we're going to observe for a moment. So, again, assassins could run in like these guys with heavy armor, big shield, and a big sword. <clears throat> uh, you could do that. But watching behavior is the key. And after just a minute or so, he'll probably get bored, turn around, and give us the backstab. Let's see if he does that. Here we go. Did I predict that or what? Let's gank him. All right, let's log on and let's nail him with a little flurry of action and we'll take his stuff. I'm actually looking for the somber smithing stone seven and I don't think there's any in this area, <clears throat> but it is what it is. All right, so we've made a full circle. Bada bing, bada bop. Oh, somebody's calling me. Hold on. Hello, it's Curtis. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm well. Uh, I've got a couple questions for you, sir. All right. Uh, I've got a 9 millimeter gun. I've got my self carry permit. And uh, I've got a 2021 Toyota Camry. And uh, I'm looking to get uh, one of those holsters mounted here in my car. Okay. That. That's not something we typically do, but if you would like for us to take a look at it, we'll be happy. Uh, we've got a guy that can easily mount that for you. Um, you. Do you have the the parts and everything together, or you want us to help you order the parts and also do the installation? Yeah, I, I, mean, I don't have any idea what's the best one out there, or I mean, I have no idea what's what's the best one to get. So. Just looking for some good advice on getting a good one to put in my car. So do you want a magnetic one or do you want an actual holster? <clears throat> well, one that you just uh, push push in. I mean, I've seen them on, on Facebook where you just push in and it automatically, you know, puts one in a chamber. I, I mean... Yeah, I'm familiar. I, rem I know the, the ad. Uh, if you... that We can install that. It's not very tricky. Uh, I've got a guy that's happy to do that for you. If you pick the one that you want um, and order it, we'll be glad to install it for you. If you want us to order it, uh, we just basically need um, 
need your information. We'll get it on order, and we'll we'll have it here when you're ready. Well, I'm, again, I'm not sure which one to get. Does I mean, is there one better than others, or? No, sir. I mean, I think that I think the technology is pretty simple, and uh, again, something super easy: two screws and a, and a large heavy-duty magnet like we have. They're called Tac Pro. That's an easy option, and then of course the one you're talking about might require a little additional installation, but uh, you know you get that option to to lock and load that first round. So if you want us to find that for you, we'd be happy to do it. Well. Uh are you guys where are y'all located at 807 bill dean drive conway arkansas and that's right between the verizon store and the outback steakhouse bill dean drive is right between those two buildings okay are you guys open today we are well, i like this just kind of swing by and let you take a look at the panel inside here and you know see what we can mount it to and, and what would be sturdy and so forth yeah come on by all right and next question is uh well, I'll just talk to you when I get there. What's your name? Curtis Robinson, and uh, our installation guy, our uh, our repairman, is Spencer. All right, all right I'll, I'll let you here in about uh, 15, 20 minutes. All right, we'll see you when you get here. All right, thanks. Bye. -bye. Man, that guy really had a lot of questions. Anyways, this is another one of those really irritating ones. Let's see know if I'm in really good range here. I think I'm going to pull him out with the bow and then I'm going to hit him with the special ability on the black knife. Might kill him right here. Man, he's calling me. Hello, this is Curtis. Hello. Hey, buddy, it's Curtis. Um, I was trying to see, did y'all have any Visco Dracos in? We do not, so we can pretty much order anything and have it here in about three days, three business days. Do you want us to order one for you, or are you just looking to see if there's one in stock? I was just looking to see if one in stock. No, sir, not in stock. Um, how would y'all order prices for you? Typically, uh, we can, you know, we've got five distributors nationwide, so we're going to get it at a distributor price. We're going to sell it back to you at a retail price, uh, but you know, we mark our prices up about ten percent. It's Pretty much as low as you can find. All right, thank you. All right, partner. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I was thinking that I was going to end up having to fight that guy, but uh, no problems there, right? There is a very annoying guy that I don't like. Whoops. So you got to, sometimes you just need to lock on. I failed to lock on there. <clears throat> All right. So this next area is a little bit more irritating. I've gotten creamed a couple times. But let's see what we can do here. So I don't want to go that way yet. Alright. I'm gonna smoke this guy. I'm gonna smoke this guy. Mostly because they're just in the way. They're gonna ultimately be ads later if we don't. I will show you this guy, right? Not this guy. That guy. He's a knight. Let's let's leave him alone. Let's leave him alone for a moment. This is the turd that we want to kill. I really want to kill him so badly. He and he's got two friends that'll ultimately help him out. I'm gonna go ahead and cast a little spell. Here. I think they're going to cast fire, do a little flame fortification. Right. And I'm going to pluck him with this, and I'm going to move upstairs. All right. Oops. All right. Let's see what he does. There he goes. He's kind of under me a little bit. See that? crossbow he's got pretty powerful and he's really decent with his rapier he's kind of giving you guys an opportunity to kind of see what you're up against here only one came out which is interesting jump down on his head and I'm going to nail him alright now I'll be honest with you guys if you've never seen a good 
ninja attack, somebody jumping off the top rope down on to the guy below, that was it. <laughs> right, not too bad. So there's some other dudes and dudettes in here. I don't know if you can see that one. There we go. Uh, they see me. You can keep casting that crap all you want. I'm going to blast you right here. Let's see if I can get her again. Do it one more time. I think. Not bad. Slicing the pie, baby. Slicing the pie. I'm going to say slice. Ooh, here's another one. Let's see if we can smoke this one from behind. Nice. Another perfumer down. I always like to look behind the the, the uh, behind the bar there, see what they got stashed. All right. Let's see here. All right. We can go ahead on down if we choose. But that is the turd that was hanging by the door. I'd really like to make a backstab and then cut him down with black blade. Let's see, if, let's see what we have here. Is he going to hang or is he going to head my way? He's heading my way. I could fight him here, this would be a pretty good area. I'm gonna go ahead and drink. I, think I missed him that time. All that. Action is getting it. That was fair. And we're going to get some space. And I might drink. Let's see if he'll follow me up. Yep. This will be another good area to fight him in. One more hit ought to about do it. Very tough guy. And he left me his partisan. Basically a big spear. Alright, not too bad, eh? But you notice it did suck up a lot of mana, and I did not choose to fight him head on. Backstab those guys, fight him at range. They are, I mean, pretty stinking tough. Close up. Alright, do we want to try to just to see if we can get this guy. Let's see if I can snake him. Oh man, an ad fudge. I do not want to fight two. I like to fight one. Let's see what we have here. Lead down. Now I'm going to go take care of his little friend too. Say hello to my little friend. There we go. I'm going to steal your lily while I'm at it. And I'm going to clean out these things as well. Oops. All right, <clears throat> so as you guys can see, tactics and strategy are going to overcome just about everybody. It's going to overcome brawn just about every single time. It's just need to be smart. Take your time. Did I not see him? 
Ooh, just sneak in there, hiding in the bushes. And he did get a legitimate smack on me. Alright. I don't need these anymore. I'm going to go for a little bit more defense. hate to waste. I really hate to waste a, uh... Oh, we're in it. Whoops. Alright, let's bail to here. Drink. Let's see if he follows us. Only a fool fights an assassin at range. And damage over time, ate him up. Oh yeah. I'm teabagging your corpse, turd. Alright. So we're kind of moving out here into the main area. And I'll tell you that there are a number of really cool surprises waiting for us. Okay, so I'll show you guys a few things and I'll show you kind of what I prefer not to do. I really don't like fighting this particular Crucible Knight. He just is real, really a pain in the butt. He's good. That's the bottom line. He's freaking good. So he's fast and tough. And I hate fiddling with him. I might, just to kind of show you guys, I might try to fight him, but I'm telling you, this guy's crazy tough. I'm down to three potions. Let's come back for him. This is an elevator down. We're going to do a little bit more business up here before we go there. Mostly we're going to go right. i try to remember if I want to do anything here to the left. Take a quick peek. This is the end of the line, I do believe. Yep, this is the end of the line. Nothing we can do here. Alright. We can go out there and do some more work when we're done. The ulcerated tree spirit is that way, I think. I can't remember. Anyways, we're going to go here and we're going to have a little fun with a an Erd Tree Avatar that's going to really just freaking fall out of the sky. You guys can see there's really, I guess he just teleports and materializes or something. Alright, so what we're looking for... There he is. We kind of wanted to be on the other side of him. Yeah. There we go. So when you're in here, first and foremost, you can touch this just in case you die. Yeah, that's pretty important. Now he's steadily having a party over here with his magic spells. And he is quite happy to freaking gank us. He missed me. Haha. <laughs> I did not miss him. Alright, so my technique. Alright, let's make sure he doesn't hit me with those. My technique, if I can get a break. He knows he can't get me, so he's trying to use his magic. He can. Then we'll slice the pie on him here. 
and just you know, I gotta just hit him in the foot and it counts. He might get me with some of these shots. Yep, he got me. Obese Vitality. I can't remember if this will save me or not from these spells. I can't remember. Down to three potions, but that should be enough. He also doesn't like fire, so if you guys want to, you know, make a few pots, you can do that. Great fun. Clowning him with freaking fire pots. He gets kind of mad because he knows that I'm sneaky. He can't get his fat freaking tree loving butt in here. So I get to basically just gank him. You guys might be thinking, ah, dude, he's good. He can't get you with those. Wrong. He can get me. Is that it? Ha. Ah, I missed my opportunity. There it is. <laughs> he's like, I'll oh, use you with magic. Well, maybe you will, maybe you won't. Let's see, give a little hand. See, he's a little bit too close. I can get my shot off, he can't get his shot off. There we go. Now it's time to have a little fun with him. Who's gonna win, man? He's just seriously thinking to himself. Man, somebody's shooting the bat out of me with that bow and I cannot get to him. This is one of those times you kinda of wish you had a friend. He's like, dude, I need a smaller, you know, more sneaky friend to kinda of slide in there. So guys, again, you could just stay on this guy's back and hit him from behind. I've done that. Uh, he can turn pretty quick and he can smack you, but a good roll probably okay. But this is wisdom right here, man. That's just technique. Lord's rune. That is worth a crap ton of runes. Okay. Not too bad. Alright. So now that we've got free reign of the street, we want to go get a, have a little bit more fun. We can just screw with these guys. Not necessarily the smartest guys in the world. So this guy's got a small shield, but it won't be enough. The longbow actually is meant to pierce the shield. Right. And let's see what old boy up here is going to do. back to arrows just for a second because I'd like to show you guys what how cool this these talismans are all right I can't even click on him right I'm spamming the lock on that's about right right if I take a step back I'm probably gonna lose him yep I'm out of his range there it is that's pretty much maximum range that I can even lock on and I'm going to be able to hit him and I hit him significantly too, by the way. 
And of course he is going to come and hit me significantly as payment for my evil deeds. And again, since I own the road, That duck kill. Uh, one more hit. I thought I had enough damage over time to get him. Smoke him. Pretty easy, right? No delayed effect with that body falling, isn't it? More runes. Pretty nice. More runes. Lightning. I think this door here is shut and locked. Yeah, I can't get in there. Alright, now, if you want to continue to kind of zoom around and kill dudes, uh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. Here we go. Uh, you can do so. These guys won't be able to stop you, assuming that you, uh, you know, are leveled up high enough. Um, but the real glory of Landell, oh, that's an archer? I hate these guys. They got even better range and they are more powerful than I am. I can get in close range probably. I hear somebody coming. Alright. All right, and there's a stinker right there also. About to get double teamed or triple teamed or quadruple teamed. So I'm down to one potion. I probably need to go and hit the uh, hit the grace. There we go. I could probably get him. There's really no love in it for me. There's nothing down there. Let's just see what we can do. Why not? If I can keep interrupting him, I'll be okay. If I don't interrupt him, he's going to get his shot off and I'll be dead. Or at least knocked down. This is my last shot. I think I'm going to be able to get inside that. He's going to nail me, I think. Maybe I can slice the pie a little bit here. <laughs> Got him. I out-archered the archer, and he had a better bow than I did, too. So again, there's nothing really cool that I can remember this way, but it was kind of cool to be able to take out those guys. Did I hear somebody grunt? Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Ah! Man, I am just asking for trouble with only one stinking potion left. Alright. We've dinked around long enough. Lots of guys to fight, lots of guys to kill, if you so choose. I've cleared this guy. Let's go hit this Grace Repower Up. Hi, Melania. My utmost for bringing me here, and thus I shall do farewell. I shall leave. I wish you luck. You have full. I have no. health. Okay. Let's double check something. Got six and six. That's probably good. Alright, there's a plenty of fighting down here. I mean, I, 
just a crap ton of guys to fight. You can run past these guys. Whoops. Let's get inside real quick. He is another one of those super cool archers. What am I doing on arrows? Should be... Oh, good. I restocked. He's going to get me. I wasn't ready. Man, it won't let me lock on. Let's see if I can do this. to lose dude I can't, I'm not even locked on you but I'm this is a little archery freaking duel here <clears throat> I've sliced the pie on him by the way this is a law enforcement and military tactic you stay you slightly hidden there out in the open easy peasy there's gonna be more of these guys There's more of those other knight style guys. Very tough. There's one I can't resist. I'm gonna have to go see if I can make a uh, backstab before he gets around that corner. I'll leave him right there. Alright. He's got friends. There's an old country song. I got friends in low places. Yeah, he's got friends in freaking all places surrounding the uh, avenue of, a, of escape for me. Oh, man. Is he turning this back on me again? I should go to get this backstab off. And now we'll take him from here. Death. Think two really decent backstabs on the same guy. It's kind of like he didn't learn. By the way, remember, uh, I think that other door leads down there, the one that I opened. All right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill this guy without him noticing. He did. He's a low guy too. Let's see if I can get him at his feet. All right. Now the true test of a great assassin is to pull off the same trick twice. By the way, that's where we're looking. We want to go up that. We're going to climb the dragon's backbone there. All right. Let's see if we can get this off. Kind of hear him behind me. See, we want to fight on the ground of my choosing. Yeah, I wish I could have got a second backstab on him, but I didn't. Lightning, huh? Very nice. I see your lightning and I raise you. Death. Is he stuck? He's stuck. It's a little glitchy sometimes, but you know what? I'll take it. I am penetrating the shield pretty nicely. I'll take it. Sometimes you got to be skilled. Sometimes it's just a little bit of luck.
Friends, there might be one more, but I think for the most part we are clear in this area here. Let's take a quick peek. Eh, we'll get this guy. We don't like to leave anybody behind to uh, dead men tell no tales, right? Alright. Here we go. Climbing the dragons. Is this his wing? I was thinking of his backbone, but that's a pretty big backbone, right? Whoop. If I'd have fallen right there, that would have been so just sad. And yet, you guys could have laughed. <laughs> Fire materials? Oh, travel stone. Rune art for me. Ladder. What is a chance that I can sneak? Well, I got his blind side, don't I? But I'm not going to get too cocky. Unlock and look around. That's wisdom right there. Lock on. Double check. I have to fight him right here. Ah, kind of a limited area, but we'll work it. One more. And roll. And he died from the overdose of death. I'm telling you guys, if you're going to be an assassin, take your time, look around, observe the enemy. Once you get to the high ground, you can kind of look and assess. You should not be in a rush to just, oh, I just want to beat the game. Oh, I just want to get to the boss. You know, I mean, I did it. Oops. I'm sitting here monologuing. And I got ganked from the side. You guys can laugh. In fact, now would be a good time whenever you get a chance. You can comment, haha, you got hit. <laughs> Alright. Hit this one. Alright. Still can't level up, not even close. Got lots of room for spells, but there's not a lot of spells that I can do. So I'm not a faith build, not a magic build. This is a really cool spell. I need a staff. I'm not carrying a staff with me right now. Mm, don't need poison. You know, I might need lightning, lightning fortification. Let's put that up. Dragon Bolt Blessing. What the heck is that? Dragon Bolt Blessing. I don't even remember picking that up. Sweet. I think it makes all my lightning attacks better. Let's look at it in our inventory real quick. Forgive me for the... Uh, <laughs> look, a squirrel! Forgive me for the distraction. Hello, this is Curtis. Huh? Hey, this is Curtis. Hi, uh, do y'all have a uh, sell accessories for like a Glock 17? We do have accessories. Are you looking for a light or maybe an optic? I'm looking for some lights to have, have them change out my uh, sights and night sights. 
So we can change them out for you. We can order the Glock 17 Night Sight kit, but I don't keep okay. it in stock. Do you want us to order it, or would you like to order it online and bring it in? I'd probably rather you order. Uh, what do they run about? I would have to do some research. I don't have that price in my head. Okay. Uh, okay. Would, you, would you like me to uh, do the research, send you a text message with the price? Yes, that'd be great. Tell me your name. Darren, D-A-R-R-I-N. Last name Young, Y-O-U-N-G. All right, Darren, I'm Curtis Robinson. I'm the owner here. I'll try to do that research and get back to you shortly, okay? Okay, and it's for the uh, Glock 17 uh, Gen 5. Got it. All right, my friend, we'll get that uh, We'll get that taken care of you. By the way, it's going to be about probably three days, three business days for the shipping. Uh, but okay. if we get it ordered today or Monday, you know, you're looking midweek, okay? Okay, perfect. All right, buddy. Thanks, Darren. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. I guess everybody's off work and wants to, uh, you know, talk guns today, which is pretty cool. Definitely good for business. Let me save this guy in the phone here. So it says here, fills the body with Bicio Vigor, restoring HP over... No, Bicio Vitality, that's why. <laughs> that's the one I'm looking for. Spirit Incantation, Capital Energy Dragon Cult. Summons lightning to bolster the body. Attacks become easier to deflect, and resistance to all ailments are increased. However, lightning damage negation will be reduced. Hmm. I don't think I want to reduce my lightning negation. Interesting, though. Very interesting. All right, let's get back to the game. All right, now there is a gargoyle right there. Very tough. Uh, could I go in there and just sling a lot of magic at him? Yes, I could, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm gonna hit him. And I'm gonna run back to there where he can't squeeze his big hairy fat butt inside. Now I will tell you that he's going to start using that beast roar on me at some point. Here it comes. Right here. And I anticipated that. Sometimes he gets kind of hung up right there. I might be able to get a few extra shots off on him. Oh, I'm going to get hit. Ah! I was in animation. Stuck in the animation. All right, watch this magic trick, guys. He can't get me, but I can get him because I'm smarter than he is. And he moved. He's like, I'm not completely stupid. I can't lock onto him, see? But I can snipe and hit him in the freaking eye. Dink. 100 points pretty good <clears throat> again remember I can get away with this because I've got that arrow talisman I mean it just gives you 30 or so percent extra stinking uh, damage what's the matter dude you can't hit me with your nasty breath weapon your beast your roar too bad I can continue to do 119 points of damage to your face. Remember, it doesn't have to be a fair fight. It just has to be a fight that I can win. Hit him in his big fat wing. Ooh, big fatty. Right in between. Look at that. Smoking him like freaking cheap cigar. So guys, this is the way. Again, if you want to uh, take your assassin character head, you know, head first into a battle with a guy with this kind of stinking damage, you know, this kind of health as well, you can. You can do that, and you probably, probably 
do okay because the, the assassin build is pretty pretty tough it's not tanky though it's not meant to be tanky um, I do have like 40 vigor but that just keeps me alive it's survivability more so than anything So now that you know where this gargoyle is, you're kind of expecting him. If you don't know where something is, kind of spam that lock on button a little bit and see what you can find. I just about got him taken care of. I think he's worth about 20 grand. I can't remember. All right. All right. I was completely wrong. He's worth three grand. <laughs> what a ripoff, man. Of course, now that he's dead, if you want to restock, because that took a lot of arrows, you go back in here, he's not going to respawn. He's totally dead, dead. So if you've got a supply of arrows, right? Now we've got uh, 93. I'm almost, I'm out of my store. All right, we are near the boss. We're getting there, friends. We're getting there. All right, what should we do with these turds? I'm going to go back to one-on-one. -on -one. I'll take these guys any day. Two-on-one. -on -one. I'll probably be okay. How did he hit me with that? He can bubble me from a mile away. How is he hitting me with that? All right, let's see what he does here. Is he teleporting that? Kind of a freaking shot. Maybe that was a glitch. I don't know. That was weird. Alright, golden tree. Golden seed. Just so you know. I'll take a peek down here real quick. Oh, not that guy again. Freaking fire. Hit this guy. <laughs> Little flame glint grant me strength. Increase my damage. I'm gonna go see if I can hack this guy. Alright, I dropped! Okay. If I hadn't had that flame fortification on there, I'd be dead right now. I'd be completely and totally irrevocably dead. But he's irritated me greatly now. I'm powering up, I'm going to go mangle his body. Let's get the right weapon up, which is probably why I didn't kill him. I didn't get the shot off. He might... He might have gone away. Is he? King Sword. All right, let's go back up where we were here. There he is. Oh, I got you now, you bird on you like freaking white on rice. So now you guys can see why I give those guys a lot of leeway, a lot of respect. They are... These guys are pretty serious. I'm going to go back down here for a quick peek. It's just an opportunity to work on my assassination skills. That guy. Let's look around. I don't think there's anything particularly interesting up here, but since I went ahead and took a look, I now I can't help myself. Get this guy. Oh, 
Yeah, look at there. Unlock whatever this unlocks. Bet that's the door downstairs. Hmm. Guys, I wanted to go fight the freaking boss, but uh, now I am crazy way curious. Mental note, go back and get the boss, or go right back and get the, uh, that area. What's up, buddy? You talked to somebody this morning about a safe for a gun. Yes. A gun safe for a car? Yes. Well, I think he just wants a, essentially like a holster system where, you're, you know, you, and it loads that first round. Um, it's just basically a retainer. I can talk to him. Okay. Yeah, he's here. No worries. All right, friends, we've got to do some business. I'll catch up to you soon. Peace.